how far up was I? Oh, it it itself is on the base floor. Oh, okay. So it, it wasn't lifting you. Yeah. No, it, it was lifting you up to, to bring down its into its mouth. So the vault and brome are still kind of lifted in the air. But right. you are not. He pulls out his axe and he's ready to fight now. All right, Sarian. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to cast uh, Witch Bolt again. Try and get my free lightning action going. So 21 on what? class. On what? On the main roper. 21 hits, but just barely. That's sort of good to know. Um, and he takes 10 points of damage. All right. Then I'm going to move up to him and use action surge to try and slash at him with my rapier. Okay. Nineteen does not hit. And my turn's over. All right, it's turn. <laughs> As it halt, it drops. Uh, it does not drop, bro. It's it's kind of like feeding, you know, like uh, it's using its tendrils to just shove it down like a hand, kind of, and it lowers its feet, your feet, into its mouth. Brome. Yeah. And you're like, all right, whatever. I've been through enough shit I mean, recently. Yeah. Oh, it misses. Ah, you're very resilient. You're like, just kind of like kicking it. Like, no. Uh, I just got disconnected. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Interesting. Obviously, uh, you're not disconnected. Keep in mind when you talk about Brome's resiliency that he's a bear. I am a bear. He is a bear right now. Actually, does um. Oh, wait, they have what's the bear's AC? AC? Yeah. Um, it is. You fucking hit me. <laughs> it's eleven. It's a little Dexy bear, but not Dexy enough. I'm not the awesome bear that you get to be from level one if you're the other druid pass. Twenty points of damage. I am not a bear anymore. You're not a bear anymore? Uh, if you go below the animal's health, you revert back to your normal form. I thought it was when the animal itself was, uh, dropped to zero, you go back. The animal itself was dropped to zero. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bro, it's your turn. Okay, kind of like animal sequence. Finish. Little animorph sequence from a bear back to Brome. Um. Shit. Yep. <laughs> that kind of ruined my whole turn plan out there. Uh, um. Ropers tend to do that. Huh. So I'm gonna give myself bark skin. There you go. And call that my turn, I guess. The vault. All right, how many uh, tendrils are left? Three. <clears throat> uh, no. This creepy looking. Still five. I thought uh, Casalt blew one up. Oh, four. So there's four. All right. Uh, tendril one, scorching ray. Tendril two, scorching ray. Tendril oh, three. He's... Uh, Scorching Ray. Alright. So you hit two, two of them. them. Uh, two and three held you and Brome. Good enough. Um, Damage. Yep. Uh, two Four. D6, but they are All right. so Oh no, if it's 2d6, they're, they're dead. Oh, it should be 3d6 with a hex. Oh. But yeah, you good. are... Uh, both of you okay. dropped to the ground. Okay. Yep. Free of the tendrils. There is only one tendril left. And it hovers above Sarian. What? There's one tendril left. Get me the hell out of there. 
<laughs> okay, you're like fuck that. But, all well, right, I, I did all I could, you know. I, all I, right, you uh, opportunity. Oh, it can't take opportunity attacks, can it? Oh, does it get? Oh, I guess it... I didn't leave its face, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's right. It it actually could, and I, then I'll 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 still I'll check a bow around here. What are you doing? I'll I'll uh I'll stick around. There's there's nothing. All right, I can do you're not there. running. Okay. No. Casal. Um, is there something within reach of me right now that I could hit? Or the roper need... itself. Oh right, I dropped right there in front of me. Yes. Yeah. Um, sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and attack uh, the roper itself. Fantastic. Twenty-five. Nice. That's a hit. Nice. For nine slashing damage and second here. Um, you uh, are. Uh, I'm gonna. Eh, I don't know. What it is. You uh. You start to believe that this thing is not just a rock, as it starts to bleed a little bit. Nice. I think we uh, stopped out it's not a rock when it started eating people. That's a hungry rock. Um. So, the tentacles yeah, were also a dead giveaway. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I can't trip it, so I'm not gonna <laughs> nope. try. So, all right, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and skip. We're, we're good. That's the, that's the end of my turn. Sarian. All right. Um, Technically, you get advantage right now because not every everyone's not grappled anymore, and all of you are adjacent to it. Alright, well, first things first, I'm just going to concentrate, and it's just going to take d12 more points of damage. Okay. Very nice. I will accept that. Then I'm going to uh, try and hit it with Shocking Grasp. Alright. Run, 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 run. Oh, it's actually... No, I'm just kidding. Go for it. Very nice. Curious. I like How it. How is this rover looking? Thank you. It's Hi. looking pretty good still. Okay. It's hard to tell. It looks so much like a rock. Oh, that's right. Hold on. Blah, 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 blah. Things are happening. Things blah, are blah, awesome. Blah, 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 blah. Nope. <laughs> All right. You do have an advantage. Double nope. <laughs> All right. Brome, yes, I, I can easily pull that out. And All right. I'm going to uh, Oops, actually hold on. Okay, it's your turn still. All right, don't worry. I'm going to move back to there, and it gets an attack of opportunity. I don't care. Okay. You might. Oh, you don't. 14? Not good enough. All right, it's turn. It uh, uses its one tendril. To attack you, Sarian. Or try to grasp you. And 25 would be a hit, I would say. You would be correct. You are grappled. Alright. And it uses real. 5, 10, or 5, 10, 15, 20. Unfortunately, it can't quite get you in its mouth. Well, technically it could. If you want to say so. It will. Since you will, are adjacent to it. It's a uh, mouth extrudes from it and attacks you. Okay. Jeez. Throw the fire. That is a hit. Alright. Nom 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 nom. Twenty five points of damage. All right, and I can't possibly pass that concentration check, so I lose the lightning too. All right, Brome. Okay, so Brome's all angry at this thing. Lost my bear form, so he's gonna put a flaming orb right on its back, right there. Okay. Give me a second then. He'll have to make a deck save. Or burst into flame. Maybe. Oh, come on. 
I don't read it. Roll 20. I'm gonna do a sphere instead. Oh my god. I swear the image search used to be better than this. Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> asshole. The tentacles uh, magically regenerate now. No, I'm just oh. kidding. Oh. Well, I, don't, I don't know. You want to be more of an asshole? 1d4. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Deck save. <laughs> Man, what's this have to pass? Uh, oh, it doesn't to... matter. Oh, sweet. Uh. Wow. How much damage? 2d6 plus... 2d6. Alright, right. go for it. Is that a concentration thing? Oh, nice! It is a concentration oh, thing. It sticks around. If it starts its turn within... Any creature that starts its turn within a 5 foot diameter of the fire takes another save. Deck save and must take the damage otherwise. Awesome. Devolt. Nom nom. New round. Huh. Let's, uh... Drop some Eldritch on it, maybe? Disadvantage, if, oh, yeah. or because you're yeah. adjacent to it. Um, yeah. All right. Casal. Speak into the microphone. Um, I'm going to attack it again. It's just a rock. And actually, you want to know what? Hmm. Um, I do want to know what. What? I bark skin anymore. Damn it. Oh no. Yeah, uh, why can't I trip it? I'm gonna try and trip it. Um. Because it's. a giant rock? I don't know, it's not that giant. It looks like a, just a large creature to me. I don't think it has legs. It does not have legs. Okay, alright, that's fine. <laughs> uh... it's, its bottom <laughs> is just completely on. It's like, the, uh... don't tell Casal he can't trip something. Then he'll really want to trip you can knock the rock over, but I'm not sure what kind of difference that'll make for it. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All right, so that's a miss. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. How is it looking? Like, is it pretty, pretty it's, dead? It's... Or... No, it's not looking pretty dead. All right, action search, and I'm gonna attack it again. Eighteen does not hit. You do not hit. Sarian, okay. you are grappled. Hooray, grapple. Strength check. Let's see what I've got. Speak to the people. Tell them what's on your mind. All right, James. Yes. What are you doing? Thinking. What are you well, doing? Waiting for you to attack. All right. All right. Um. So this thing has got me, and all the tendrils are back, right? It only. No, no. I was. I was a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> a poor joke in, in retrospect, but uh, it only has the one tendril that's holding, holding you. So if you get rid of all the tendrils, they all grow back, right? Nope. <laughs> you don't know. History check. Sure. But right, I'm going to try and pull a... Uh page out of Devault's book, and I'm going to try and shocking grasp the tendril that's holding me also. Alright, go for it. Nope. Nope. Very poor. Alright. It's turn. It reels you in. Nom, 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 nom. It looks quite full. Oh, man. Let me check something out here. 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. All right. Sorry, Saren. I can't. Uh, yeah, it reels you in and drops you in its mouth. Okay. This could very well kill you. Since you only have nine hit points left and your con score is only like 14. It's not my con score. It's my hit point total. Is it hip? Really? Yep. What the fuck? When did that? Seriously. I got what page is that on? Um. All right, we well, take 21 points of damage. It's death and dying. All right, I got it. Don't worry, people. All right. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Just trying to look at this. Actually, I see. Yeah, if you take basically negative your hit point total in one attack, you die instantly. Otherwise, you can drop to any level, and you just uh, either auto-fail a uh, death saving throw, or make a death saving throw. I don't see where it says that. Sorry to slow down the play, guys. Okay, so you see, you take it, you're on page 197? Yeah. So instant death? Okay. Uh, I see massive damage can kill you instantly. I'm not talking about massive damage. Yeah, okay. So then go to falling unconscious. If he reduces you to zero hit points and fails to kill you, then you start your I turn. I know, but where does it say about killing you? When you start your turn with zero hit points, you must make a special saving throw called a death saving throw. I'm not if talking take, about that. Yeah, if you take any damage while you have zero hit points, you suffer a death saving throw failure. The damage is from a critical hit, you suffer two damages. If the That's... damage equal or exceeds your hit point maximum, you suffer instant death. It's locked in there with damage at zero hit points, you know? It's not its own separate entity like I would want. I, I, you're right. I don't mean to say, make confrontation with you guys. No, it's no problem. Like, you're being so aggressive right now. Fuck you, Zach. <laughs> All right. So, um, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem with the way the book's written. Uh, so, I just don't like the way it's grouped up like that. But you're right. In the end. Alright, so you're still alive. But very unconscious. Very unconscious. Alright. Uh, in that case, that is its turn. Brome, you're lucky this thing can't uh, attack like three or four times around. So, it needs to make a dex saving throw at the end of its turn. Oh, yeah, that's right. At the end of its turn? Yeah. Alright, and it is the end. It's very undextrous. Oh, man. How much damage? 2d6? Go for it. Oh. He needs to make another deck saving throw on my turn, because it's a bonus action. I'm going to rail that orb straight into its back. Bonus action, all right, and that's just a bonus action. You still have a normal action. Yep. But uh, we'll save it. Try to save first. It fails, uh -huh. so go ahead and roll two d six. Brom is taking this thing out. Very nice. I I I I see you just fine, Kevin. I I know, but I'm not seeing any dice rolls. Really. Now All right. they come through. Now everything's come through. All right. Yeah, I, um, I don't know. All right, you still have an action. I'm going to use that to use a healing word on 
Sarian. Good idea. Rank one. All right, go for it. Two D four plus your caster level, or whatever. Yep, I'm pulling it up right now. All right? Is that healing word or is it one D eight for healing word? I think it's uh the D eight is the cure wounds. Okay. One D four for rank one. Oh, ouch. Alright, go for it anyways. Alright. Nice. You brought forth, but Sarian. The bite left you with um Probably just could have kept this page open. Oh, all right. Ouch. You have a broken rib. Son of a... Um. But because you received magical healing, you feel the broken rib, and it gets magically healed, so you're fine. If you were brought back by other means, not a non-magical way, you're okay. Which would would really suck because a broken rib. Every time you want to attack something, you have to roll a Constitution check to do so. Wow. That would in fact have been very. I mean, awesome. it kind of makes it realistic, just because who who does a lot of things with broken ribs, you know? Football players. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um. Bro, is that your all your? Yeah, that's my turn. All right, Devault. Well, now I can back up because he's got a tendril thingy on. No, so, he he can you can still he can still attack a bot. It's a new round. He has a tendril thing, but he can still bite you. He he can. He's biting him. He's not swallowing him. Yet, he likes to mince up his meat first. So he does um, have a five foot reach. Oh yeah. His mouth. Actually, he has lot. He has a larger reach than that. He's a large okay, creature. Okay, he's got the alien mouth. The extended. Do we have advantage yeah. on? Do we have advantage on melee? Yeah. All right. Let's do this then. Shock and grasp him. All right. All right. So that's one d eight. That's a hit, actually. Good job. Eight points. Oh, nice. Now I back the hell away from it. Oh, is that the um, hex thing? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Shoot. I forgot about the hex, too. I gotta do hex damage. But why can't... Is it something about Shock and Grasp itself? Shock and Grasp, it can't take reactions. Oh, very nice. Ah. And it can't take reactions until uh, the end of its turn. Alright. You hold up a hand, lightning comes forth. Despite it being a rock, the lightning does some damage to it. Assault. Alright. So I don't know how you want to do it or not, but I am going to try and strip it. Um, I'll start if it's next. You're not I going to, to, just so you know. That's fine. That's fine. I'm but telling you, you're not going to. I, I it still can't does extra try. damage. It still does extra damage. That's kind of why I'm doing it. Alright, yeah, you can try it, but it won't fall prone. Okay, that's fair. That's fine, whatever. Um, cool, so I'm going to try a trip attack, and... Um, Make it do a strength saving throw just just for the humor of it. Uh, but here's my attack. All right. Um, Alex, there we go. Twenty three plus one d eight. It, God damn it! Roll one d eight. Oh. So yeah. it did eleven damage to it. All right. And then it does actually. I mean, that's that, it, it doesn't fails. fall prone. It. it, it <laughs> It's, yeah. Just a little bit more. Is there any more bread? No. Um, Saria. All right. I mean, if you want, it falls on its side, but that doesn't affect it in any way. As long as it knows it's weaker than me, that's really all that's necessary. <laughs> it looks very, very hurt. I exploded one of its tendrils with a strike check. It's hard. It, it's a. Uh, its pride is hurt so bad. Good. Okay, how am I taking? Oh, I'm still grappled, right? Yes. 
All right. Well, I guess I'm not doing my first plan, and it's I guess I'm going to yeah. try shocking grasping it again. The tendril or the thing? We'll try the tendril. Okay. Nope. nope. Do I have advantage on this? Not you. I guess it'd be sort of cancelled out by the fact I'm grappled. Yeah. Alright. It pulls you in and it attacks you there, Sarian. Okay. Um... Darn. I should have said that when I tripped it. I wanted it to like lose its balance and let go of Sarian to catch itself or something. The tendrils up. It's not. Yeah. You'd have to attack the tendril, because, yeah, I mean the tendrils are like 50 feet long. 23 is a hit. Yeah, it is. As it continues to try and turn you into an appropriate position, this time, it's your ass that he wants to eat. <laughs> nom, 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 you nom. never go ass to mouth, ever. <laughs> All right, 18 points of damage. There's a website for that. <laughs> And Brome, it's your turn. Um, he needs to make saving throws. The ah, that's right. Two Thank ones. you. So this is one for the end of his turn, and he passes. passes. And this Good is reason. one for your bonus action. Oh, it does not. Ah, oh, six. So close. You could tell it's on the verge of death. Oh, really? Yeah. I might be able to just kill it right now. Um, I can try and poison him. I'm going to try and do that, I think. Or should I try and... Yeah, I can't move, so... Go for it, man. You can move. Oh, save. oh I'll get hit and It, it can't take reactions. Oh, really? Yeah. Shock and grasp. It just took a, no, it, no, 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 it just took a turn. It can make reactions. Until yeah. the end of its next turn is what... No, the beginning of its next turn. But that's not what the book says. You just posted it, it on the screen. Did I? I thought I said uh, next end of it. Okay, maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. I, I could be derping out here. God, you all I thought, suck. I thought you had time. <laughs> Alright, I know mine then. Man, I'm kidding. Like, I'm play it on myself. No, no I'm it's, uh, it's, it's kidding. Yeah, so it, it would be the Con save. Yeah, just all right. give him a con save. Con save. save. I see how that's working. That's a. Uh, it's Constitution's quite good. Uh, bummer. That's fine. Yeah, yep. He's good. It's a rock. The vault. Alright. Let's see if I can. Just, it, uh... it just looks like it wants to eat. That's a hit. Eat that. And with that, Sarian falls to the ground. And the roper bursts into a bunch of little fleshy pieces. Yay! Thank you. you see the in, like it has a very long digestive cycle. You see uh, little bones and bits of flesh, and you actually see a little bit of jewelry in there as well. It's a it's string of pearls, out. worth about a hundred gold pieces. Twenty-five gold pieces. Well, no, a hundred gold pieces. Uh, you have to sell it first before you split it up. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and uh, Sarian, you oh, Sarian, you're unconscious. Yep. Death I'm save. Walk over, and I'm gonna cure wounds, rank one. All right, but let me see what type of... You're just getting all fucked up, man. Oh, that's not too bad. 14. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Ouch. All right. Your, a wound begins to fester, but because you see receive magical healing... To come back, it is automatically cured. So you're good. Good Magic for you. Healing is awesome. It is. So, is the reason Brom has one eye now because we didn't magically cure him? Nope. That he. It's because I rolled a one on the d20. Ah, uh, okay. And he lost an eye. 
Gotcha. But there are certain things that when you receive magical healing, the effect's basically nulled. I mean, there is a magical healing spell that can yes. get me my eye back. But it's it's up there. All right, guys, what do you want to do? Uh, I think we can save the day from whatever the hell that is. I, <laughs> I believe we've, we've explored this cave. Well, for the most part. I don't know if there's anything left in here. Last, one last disadvantage perception check from Rome. <laughs> All right. Good old broom one eye. Um, yeah, I mean, I. You're muted, Zach. There you go. You're not muted anymore. I was just laughing. All right. I but I want to hear your laugh, goddammit. Yeah, other than the, uh. Troglodyte crevasse, I don't think there's anywhere else to go. Well, there's one more room. Is there? That you guys never went into. Yeah. It's the room with the big. Thick uh, leather curtains hanging down. And it felt like there was a cold draft oh, coming up. In four. In four. And, and you pushed up up against. It, it felt like there was something sharp behind the curtains. Right. And, and you guys here. decide to never go down there. Yeah. Is there here? By troglodyte caverns. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's make our way that way. I'll uh. I'll lead the fearless party. All right. You go that way. The curtains are removed. And it smells the stench. What the fuck was that? My God. phone, sorry. God damn it, Zach. <laughs> um, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, and you get a cold waft of air hitting you. Um, it just seems like a very refrigerated area in the cave. Um, it smells like old meat. But obviously, this was some storeroom for their uh, uh, food supplies. Nothing left here anymore. Okay. Well, let's go back to Greenest and say what we can. Alright, guys. Um, and with that, we will end the session at the this juncture you guys are leaving the cave. Uh, it was going to be a short session anyways, just because depending on what you guys wanted to do. It was either going to be finish the cave or head on to the next part of the campaign. And we finished the cave. So that's not a big deal. Uh, Zach's busy talking. So everyone say goodbye to the viewers. Goodbye, Bye, everyone. everyone. Bye-bye. All right. Oh.